And welcome back to the latest anime and manga news for the week ending January 24th. I'm sorry, January 25th, 2014. That's how I got that mixed up. Let's go to the latest anime and manga news, starting with news from Studio Ghibli and news that they are planning on an international release of Princess Mononoke and The Cat Returns. Um, what's interesting is that I mean, those are movies that Disney and Buena Vista released earlier. So odd. Um, uh, it will be released um, uh, hopefully internationally. So um, more on that in the backstory, but that's kind of cool to hear. Um, no news on a release date. There's a, it's working with the distributors to do so. So we'll see where that goes. Um, moving on, Princess Kaguya, the latest Studio Ghibli film, uh, won an award, the 68th Mainichi Film Awards. It won the Animation Film Award. No big surprise there. This is an adaptation of a classic Japanese fairy tale by Isao Takahata, one of Hayao Miyazaki's best friends, uh, who's also responsible for directing A Grave of the Fireflies. Speaking of Hayao Miyazaki, um, special Hayao Miyazaki figurines have been made for release from the uh, 2011 earthquake and tsunami. These are not figurines of Miyazaki characters. These are figurines of Hayao Miyazaki himself. Uh, it's this little sort of chibi figurine of Hayao Miyazaki. They're only going to make 300 of them, and they will cost $95, meaning they will immediately be uh, put on eBay for a ridiculous, ridiculous sum. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Moving on to some non-Ghibli news, um, th uh, there's an announcement that uh, Madhouse will be producing a new Marvel superhero film, i.e. an anime Marvel film. That's pretty darn cool. Uh, it will be a uh, Marvel's Avengers Confidential Black Widow and Punisher film. Uh, it will be released on DVD, Blu-ray, and digitally March 25th, so actually pretty soon. Uh, and there's more information on uh, AnimeNewsNetwork.com as, uh, as usual. Uh, Jennifer Carpenter will be voicing Black Widow. She's from Dexter. And Brian Bloom from Blackout um, and Avengers Earth Mightiest Heroes will voice the Punisher. Looks, looks like it's going to be basically just Black Widow and Punisher for that one. Uh, moving on to some kind of special interest news. Um, uh, Cartoon Network uh, uh, announced on their Toonami Block they're going to air Black Lagoon. So this uh, somewhat more serious Madhouse anime series will be premiering on Toonami on Saturday, March 22nd. So in about two months. That will replace Soul Eater, uh, which will have fin finished up by that time. So that will be the replacement for it. It's only 12 episodes, Black Lagoon. So, you know, they don't have <laughs> too much content there to, uh, to, to churn out. Uh, let's see here. Meanwhile, um, a, the Oscar-nominated uh, anime short Possessions, or Tsukumo, will be airing in theaters in the U.S., Canada, and Europe. Um, the Shorts HD TV channel will be distributing the, uh, the animation. Uh, begin screenings January 31st, so coming up pretty soon here. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this is part of a Katsuhiro Otomo project called Short Piece. Um, so uh, they'll be in LA uh, and um, other places. The other nice thing, they'll also be available on iTunes, Amazon, and DirecTV beginning January 31st. You'll also be able to get them like legitimately on those sources. Uh, no news on if there's going to be a fee or anything like that. Um, Japanese grade schoolers were asked to vote on their favorite anime. So what are grade schoolers interested in right now? Um, it was on a, uh, a forum called mb2.jp, which is for grade schoolers only. Uh, they were only allowed one vote for, per day, so it wasn't too crazy. The top result was Kuroku's Basketball, followed by Inazuma 11 Go Galaxy, Sword Art Online, Oremo, uh, Oran High School Host Club, Gintama, uh, Magi, or Magi, or whatever, uh, Prince of Tennis, Soul Eater, Attack on Titan, Aikatsu, Hanganai, and Danboro Senki Wars. No mention of Pokemon? Weird. <coughs> Moving on to a little bit of manga news this week. Vertical has announced they're going to be licensing uh, Tonaru no Seki-kun, also known as My Neighbor Seki, the manga for release this fall. This was um, launched into a quite popular anime work uh, recently over in Japan. Um, it's about a, um, uh, a girl who sits next to a boy, 
um, who uh, doodles on his desk, um, and um, turns out there's a whole sort of world going on in those doodles. So uh, that they will be licensed. Of course, Vertical does very high quality releases. So cool to see a really really high quality release of that. They said you'll get, we'll get a new uh, new volume every two months or so. Um, so pretty cool. And uh, Ed Chavez of Vertical has said they've been trying to get this for two and a half years. So finally coming in. So that is the news uh, for the week. Uh, all these news stories are on AnimeNewsNetwork.com. Thanks to them for collecting them. And thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the backstory. Otherwise, that's it. Take care.